Welcome back, indeed. Oh, Zumi, I did upload the uh, 37 slash 34 for uh, uh, chapter 20. Oh, yes. That was that was hype. Getting <laughs> I'm hoping I can hit room. at least a sub 40 again. I think it's doable. Oh, you just gotta skip cold run. Yeah. All right. Um, how are we how are we looking for time style? Um, let me look here real quick. Just give us a rough estimate on how you. We're about fifteen minutes ahead of schedule, but that's okay because um, the I'm, professor's I'm just, I'm gonna. Just too fast. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. You've got your little incentives too, haven't you? Um, he's got a, a yeah. He's got a soda to drink and he's got a wing to eat, so we could we okay. could start. Okay, so oh, yeah, they're about does a... not be a bottle painted. That's the actual color of the drink. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, <laughs> love. Wow. Made with real black olive brine. <laughs> brine is such a nasty sounding word. All right. Um, right, okay. I'm pretty much ready to go. Just give me... I'm going to get you guys going, um, and then I'm going to come out of here. I've got to set up Logie Panda so he's been run. He wants me to quickly set up before he has to go out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so I'll give you guys a countdown. Obviously, once I hear the countdown on your stream, I'll start talking, and then uh, I'll pass it to Star. Star takes it away. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. All right. In uh, three, two... One. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Summer of Love 2023. I'm Nox Gaming, and we have the gorgeous Professor back to do some speed runs of, uh, or a speed run, I should say of uh, Tim Burden's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Also, we got some juicy, juicy incentives to look forward to, so we'd love for you to watch those. I'm going to pass it back to Stahl, and uh, let Stahl have his piece. All right, well, let's go over all the fun incentives that we hit during his last run. So the, after this run is over, the professor is going to drink a black olive soda. He's going to speed run the first chapter of this game, blindfold it, and then... After the run is over, he's going to eat an entire wing that is 10 million Scoville units hot. So that's something to look forward to. Also, I want to let everybody know that we have another cumulative goal of 400 pounds, and we're at 281 pounds with all the bits and subs counted in towards our donation goal. So we're about 119 pounds away from extending the marathon, and that's to see Basutai's Final Fantasy VII any percent, 30 frame per second run on the PC. So, Professor, let us know whenever you're ready, and we'll get us going. Sure thing. You know what? Last second incentive. If we can hit that 400 pounds before I finish the bosses, I will take a bite of the second wing. There's three wings in here. Oh, boy. I am a madman, <laughs> and I'll do anything for cancer research. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. So, Chapter 1, Jack's Return, is honestly the easiest one. So, this is one I'm going to do blindfolded. I am with my good friend, student teacher, and world record holder of every single category in this game, Azumi. Hello. And we have a great show for you, all bosses. This is every boss in the game that has a health bar. So, sorry, no shock. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a... I'm going to get my blindfold ready, then do a 3 to one countdown with my headphones off. So, Azumi's going to be explaining everything. I need to listen. I, I need to listen. Yeah, chapter one's not too bad, but it, it's a little up, bit short on the shorter end for uh, even blindfolded. So, yeah. So, uh, glasses are coming off. It's official. All right. I'm... Bravo six, going dark. Yeah. Can't see anything. All right, three, two, one, countdown. Three, two, one. I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm Jack or Pumpkin King, so we're gonna have a fun time figuring that out. Yeah, okay. the, 
the costume doesn't change. Uh, it just keeps whatever you had at the end of the last run. Uh, at the beginning here, you have to fight six skeletons, and then you get a little cutscene before Oogie starts talking. Uh, but the entire time Oogie's doing his little speech, skeletons just continuously spawn, so you just can either group them all up or just kill them all continuously. And as soon as he's finished talking, the next cutscene is happens, and then he can head on into the town hall for the first boss here. Uh, this is a, a neat little, uh, what's it called, just kind of consistent strat where you just hold down the X button and you continuously flamethrower the skeletons as they spawn. Uh, this works on every difficulty, but it's only New Game Plus or, uh, because uh, you need the infinite souls. Besides, on regular new game, you don't get the Pumpkin King costume until chapter 6, so that's a little bit rip. Okay, I'm gonna wait three more seconds just to confirm. We got Mr. Hyde coming in here. Okay. And, uh, now, Professor gets to do the movement. Sometimes he gets hung up on this well, but he's trying to go to the uh, oh, no. entrance to the residential area so he can get a little sound cue to know where he's at, so he can um, have a consistent uh, walk cycle back to the entrance. The camera is a little bit disagreeable sometimes. You, uh, you don't have a free cam in this game, which is... A real travesty but you know it is what it is you you eventually get used to how the camera works and here we go we're in entering town hall and it is time to fight Oogie's shadow Oogie's shadow has 600 HP and uh, the fire blast at rank 3 do 100 damage, so we just gotta run up and hit him six times, basically. The fire blast will also uh, destroy his little projectiles that he throws, so you don't even need to dodge them. It's pretty pretty straightforward boss on New Game Plus or all bosses. And exiting the menu here, that is chapter one blindfolded. Ta-da! GG's. Woo! Damage. No damage. Just over three either. minutes, that's not even bad. Alright. <laughs> that went way better than yesterday. I did a weird like uh you saw like a staircase pattern. Uh I spent four hours last night developing a safe strat. Yeah. I'm sorry it looked weird. I was just counting a lot in my head. It's all good. We actually get to skip a handful of chapters because it's all bosses. And the next chapter we get to play is chapter five. Yep. We get uh, two life bars in this uh, chapter. So they get kind of combine them in. Which is good for us. That's uh, less uh, menuing. Yeah. So coming up first is lock. Uh, I have a tattoo of him on my arm. Uh, Locke specifically is a really easy boss. There is two ways to uh, beat him. The flashy way and the bombing way. I'll try the flashy way first, but if I have to do the bombing way, we're not losing that much time. The flashy way is a lot more uh, cool, in my opinion. So, taunting charges up your soul robber, and a charged soul robber with the little uh, spiral swing there does enhanced damage. The charged up spiral swing does uh, eight times the amount of damage it normally does, and lock, shock, and barrel, all three of them take 
double damage from that attack too, so it's a total of 16 times when you and charge it up. On top of that, we can hit him up to four times for 64x damage. Yeah. So, dead. Like, we even do that in, like, nightmare runs. Like, that's how powerful it is. It's amazing. Alright, uh, look away, arachnophobes. Luckily, these spiders aren't as, uh, bad looking as, like, Skyrim spiders. <laughs> We got some walking tunes to listen to while we fight. That is a uh, a staple of this game, just the the banger soundtrack, honestly. So the point of this boss is you have to hit the back, and when it does, it gets hurt, and it sends its kids after you. What a bad mother. Yeah, the children oh, are that sucks. how you actually do damage. Oh, you didn't get enough notes, just barely. So the the fastest way to do that is to get a uh, two cycle. I'm gonna get as much damage in as possible. So I believe Azumi explains the let's dance better. So may you take it away. So. When you do the combo with the Let's Dances, it's a little rhythm game, and as you do, you get those uh, like Macarena dancers behind you. You can get up to four of them behind you, and when there's zero, it t means you'll do anywhere from zero to 99 damage. One dancer will be 100 to 199, so on and so forth. And uh, most bosses on easy have pretty low health. I think the final boss has like 1500 or something, so it's not that bad. Uh, not a bad chapter 5 at all. Um, according to Brady Games, apparently you can uh, get uh, 1000 damage if you perfect this. Okay, Azumi's gonna explain this. Blink and you miss it, because this, this is tied for the fastest, uh, tied for the second fastest chapter in the game. Ready? Yeah. The... <laughs> It's a three-way tie between three different chapters for second place. Right. You ready? Yes. Explain while I go fast. So you start the chapter, and uh, Finkelstein has had his brain replaced by Ogi, so he'll do his bidding. And luckily, his regular brain is just over on a... It's not even in a jar, it's just over on a a cart over here so you do a little uh double throw at Fingelstein to get the brain in a, a good position right in front of him you destroy one of the machine guns so it stays out for longer and it gives you enough time to open his case and throw in a, a brain and then you destroy some of the uh spinny blade dudes and it gives you enough time to do the other one the second throw is a little bit tighter than the first, but usually you can get it in like that. That is a textbook Finkelstein fight. And you're actually able to do that on 80%. You don't even need to be uh, fully leveled up. Exactly. 103. We're, we're still trying to get this 59. It is hard. Big pumpkin. Alright, on to the next child. There's a little bit of child abuse in this game. Alright, we're at Behemoth's Magnum Opus. Uh, my good friend Azumi loves Behemoth. Behemoth is the best denizen of Halloween Town. He grows all the pumpkins. We got time for a quick donation? Yes. Absolutely. We have a 20 pound donation from Omnis87. Speedruns, beans, olive soda, and wings. And bonus elevator manips? Question mark? Let's go! Thank you for the donation, Omnis. Uh, sorry, this category does not have elevator manips. We do have yeah, I one wish we had an elevator. Well, we just jump off the elevator, like, early. That's it. So, this next move is called the Homie Hurricane. Shoutouts to my baby gravies out there. 
uh, the idea is that you can uh, charge up your soul robber and swing it around so you can hit multiple enemies fast. And you can extend the homie hurricane by using a blue soul so you don't actually lose your grip. Each blue soul actually gives you 12 seconds of infinite grip and you can hold up to five of them in your inventory and sometimes the enemies will actually drop them while you're doing it so if you're lucky you can get just infinite infinite. Uh, what I was using there was called a pumpkin shield. That is exclusive to easy mode. It, um, at level 3, it gives you 7 seconds of invincibility. Nothing can touch you unless it's a void, like falling in lava or falling out of the world. And you seen him pause for a second there before he started fire blasting when the ghost came out of the pumpkins? They actually have a lot of invincibility frames when they exit the pumpkins, so he had to wait for a minute there. Uh, for... Quick uh, 3 shot on barrel. I try to shoot him against the wall so that he doesn't fly off too far. And then I wait until he's in the air so it kind of angles in a sort of way. So that he doesn't yeah. like, fly far. All right, the closer this... to the middle of the room he is, the, the more unpredictable his pattern is. Yep. Now, welcome to Runaway Clown. We will not be saving Clown today. The, uh, in this chapter, it has something called a secret chapter. There are chapters within chapters, chapters on top of chapters, 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 chapters. These secret chapters are for the 100% reward, the Phantom Jack, the costume I'm wearing right now. Yeah, you guys might have noticed that this kind of resembles Devil May Cry, and it was created by the same people. Uh... And it has a lot of the same uh, ideas, like secret chapters. You have, like, your little chapter ranks and stuff. And it plays pretty similarly. It's a, it's a great time. Yep. Capcom, please remake this game. It's the 30th anniversary of the movie. It's the perfect time. I mean, at least, like, remaster it and release it for new consoles. Yeah. Or at least give us X Xbox Series X support. Yeah, right. Like, that'd be the only reason I'd buy an Xbox Series X. Well, maybe the uh, Call of Duty on Game Pass. As a PlayStation owner, that L is very bitter in my mouth. Yeah, the majority of Chapter 12 is actually just walking, uh, mostly back to town, but there's also a little bit of walking down and up uh, Finkelstein's Tower, so if there's any donations that come in here, we can uh, just go ahead and read them. Yeah, no worries. I just want to let everybody know that we have successfully completed the incentive for Logi Panda to speedrun eating two cans of beans in real life, and that'll be coming up here probably in a couple runs um, in between an intermission. But uh, the main goal we are going for right now is a 400 pound to extend the marathon and add a run at the end of Final Fantasy VII any percent for Basutai. And we're to about add a to... bite of the Wing of Fire with me. Yep, if we get um, if we get another, I think, 80 pounds, that'll, or no, that's right, we gotta do the whole thing. So we're 100 and about 120 pounds away from that goal. And it has to be before the end of this run. I am not coming back because I'm gonna be so securely in the laboratory for the rest of the day. Okay, so if you what don't we do upgrade your present there, it's really difficult to get the hitbox to stop clown. Yeah. Uh, did I hit the one frame? Yes, it I did. Look like it. Yeah. Uh, in transitions, you can have a um. If walk-in transitions have like a four or five frame window, it feels like. A door transitions is a one frame where you have to press A or X and R or L or on PS2 R2 L2. It's just a lot of walking. A lot of Christopher walking. Yeah, chapter 12 is one of the longer chapters, but it's it's like I'd say it's kind of mid-length, but it's one of those chapters where you don't actually have to fight anything if you don't want to. It's just walking. 
Although, funny enough, it has the highest combo requirement of the entire game at two... Is it 200 on uh, easy and 300 on nightmare? I think no, it's, no, it's 200 on easy and it's 500 on nightmare. Yeah. It's kind of ironic. Five hundred sucks. Yeah, you just gotta spend like a few <laughs> minutes in Sally's room. Yeah. Jack went into Sally's room without her permission. <gasps> That's also usually when I get the crystal skull from that room. Yeah, same. I I usually get the Sally and Igor crystal skulls at the same time. I don't know why they both have a copy of that Indiana Jones movie. They could have just shared. I don't know why they have a copy of that Indiana Jones movie. It sucked. I don't know why they made that copy of the Indiana Jones movie. That was not worth the money. Why does that exist in Halloween Town? Welcome to Bone Biscuit Burglary. Uh, something stole his bone biscuit when he turned around. And I'm going to be real honest with you. I have no idea how this guy stole the bone biscuit. Clearly sent one of the babies. Okay, uh, Azumi spoiled it. It's the spider. That was a perfect paradive. That was immaculate. I believe it's the right side. I only side. spoiled it by like 20 seconds, though. Nope, left side. I always get that wrong. It sucks because I'm left-handed. Oh yeah, it's because my controller doesn't like going over here because Xbox has dead zones at exact 45 degree angles. I can't wait to get X360 on here. So in here, we're looking for a three, uh, you'd say a three cycle? Yeah, I think the, uh, the last two spiders are three cycle. The first spider can be two cycle. And then uh, even though the last couple spiders aren't even near Sally, they they still have Sally as her their uh, little theme song. I'm just gonna go off what Neronium said. Igor just has a boombox in here. <laughs> yeah, but what about uh the next one? Oogie does too. It was part of one of Oogie's uh, failed torture experiments. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it only failed because the other holiday leaders liked Sally's voice. No, for Jack. Oh. Imagine hearing your girlfriend all the time and never getting a chance to see her. That is a good point. Also, fun fact, in the book, Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. Oh, I think we're going to have to four cycle. I think I missed a couple spiders in the first one. Might have, but it's all good. But, uh, in the book, they say after the biggest battle against Oogie, they get married on New Year's Day. So, since this game is canon, that means that seven days after this game, Jack and Sally get married. Alright, we're doing uh, some reset game strategies. Once we get that bone biscuit, the boss is dead. We do not care about the rest of the chapter. Yeah, that saves about, I think, four minutes on this chapter and, like, three minutes on another. And that's why my uh, chapter select is on Rooftop Rumble. It's just an easy go in. In hindsight, I should have done it on the Mayor's Madhouse because it starts on the next chapter. But, hey. So, this next uh, trick is called Fast Brats. It was discovered by... I wouldn't Bullseye say... Strider. Um, I wouldn't say Speedrunner. I'd say Super Player? Bullseye Strider? Super Player is a very uh, accurate term, I'd say. He has a series on this, uh, on this platform of YouTube where he gets S ranks first try on every chapter with no damage on nightmare mode
And if we haven't mentioned already, Nightmare Mode isn't just hard mode, it's this game's equivalent of Dante Must Die mode. Yeah. You don't even have to unlock it either, so I can't imagine how many, like, kids just start on it and just threw away the game because they couldn't do anything. Yeah. But thanks to him, we've discovered a lot of cool things about this game. Yeah. Uh, so that was uh, Fast Brats. Uh, um, it was the same idea of hitting them against the wall so they won't jump anywhere. And since there was three of them, we were basically doing triple damage. Yeah, each one of them, after they exit the bathtub, has their own hitbox. So they all take the same uh, hit from a single fire blast. Yeah. I wonder if they ever so remake you... this game, they'll give them individual uh, health bars. I imagine they would. They'd do a little Ornstein and Smoke action. So in here, um, we've had a lot of the newest tricks of Era 2 of Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie's Revenge. Found by my student teacher, Azumi. Yeah, most of these are just jumps, but you know, they're they're cool. This game has a lot of Kingdom Hearts 1 style uh, platforming, I like to call, where you don't have that much of a jump, but for what little you have, you can break the game in some areas. It's it's qu honestly quite um, surprising with what the jump looks like, what you can actually accomplish with it. Not to mention, despite this being a Devil May Cry game, you have coyote frames. Yeah. Shoutouts to uh, uh, Looney Tunes. So the only way you can actually do a jump is by doing three flips in a row. Yeah. I'll try that again. Uh, I'll even show off triangle jump. Oh, cool. No, I won't. Oh, I'm oh, I, I usually right. try and I usually try and do a the jump storage for triangle jump. Yeah. Okay. I'm guess I'm not showing off triangle jump. It's uh, roughly oh, well. the same speed as swinging across, but it's just flashier, especially if you mess up and you want to show an audience that you're actually competent at this game. Are we already halfway done with this? Uh... Oh my god, we're already halfway more done than with halfway, the category. I think. Where'd the time go? I blame the spider. I did too early there. I swear I practiced this. Azumi watched me. Yeah, you've been nailing it. It's first try. This is one of the easier tricks in this uh, chapter. Yeah, it's this all good. isn't uh, Jack the Ripper skip skip, which is the harder version of Jack the Ripper skip, but somehow easier. Yeah, we don't even do that in this category. Oh my gosh, I am just. Whew. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try with skeleton moves one more time, and if we fail, we'll just go normally. Yeah. It's, it's a stall tactic, so I don't have to drink the soda or eat the wings. <laughs> it's a stall tactic. Delaying the inevitable. But now, yeah, the skeleton moose looks pretty flashy. It's pretty cool. What happened? You heard uh... me mash B. So usually you'll get the full flip there, and the third jump will take you all the way to that uh, upper level. I'm and it'll I skip. did that correctly, and the game still said no. Yeah, the game just doesn't want you to get it, get it so Don't we'll show the normal backup strat. Yeah. I am sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm, I swear I'm good at this game. I've been playing it for, what, six years now? Easily. I am the second generation runner of this game. All first generation runners are either gone or... So you can basically imagine what the the end of that trick looked like, and it just skips the this entire uh, you know like little auto scroller of the platform, and then double swinging up. He says it only so. saves like ten seconds. I swear that that feels like more fifteen. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of estimate, but I'm sometimes I'm not bad that with close. That. I I don't like the isometric of, uh, and if you do it perfectly, yeah, th all this is exactly why the game off. needs a free cam. <laughs> Yeah, this game does not have a free cam. The right analog stick is useless. The so only thing the right analog stick does is input some cheats. So if you have one of those, like, uh, tiny, uh, 
emulation devices and you legally get a copy of this game we do not advocate for piracy please get a legal copy of this game if it's for your own good you can actually play this on one of them just because it only uses the left analog stick me i just play on my steam deck we have time for a quick donation of course yeah this is just another spider we have a 20 pound donation from nivra he says big thanks to all who made our event a success your support and presence made it truly memorable. Grateful beyond words. Brought to you by ChatGPT. Smiley face. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Never. Uh, we don't like ChatGPT. ChatGPT is alright. At least it's not taken over. AI generated. It's not as good runs. as it used to be. Nah, I just work for an art company, so I have my. Uh, I have my. I have my strong opinions on. Yeah, I mean, I dislike a lot of the AI, but, you know, it, this isn't speedrun, though. Sphere. So it looks like we might get the three cycle on this spider. Yeah. Uh, I failed the um, a quick hit on that, but it was still fast. I didn't have to do it. Uh, yeah, the spider is the boss that will sometimes disagree with you the most, cause be precisely because you have to hit it on the back. Yeah. All right, then after this, we'll reset the game again so we don't have to finish off this chapter. It's just yeah. Right so... after this uh, cutscene happens, the spider is dead. Yeah. The reason why we reset after these two specifically is because there's more chapter after these bosses, and the point of all bosses Jim is Burton. the bosses. It'd be Welcome pretty heartbreaking back. if you worked so hard to beat the boss, then all of a sudden it doesn't matter because Clown want to destroy you. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's just it's not a boss. The uh, the boss is not the reason you lost. So. So welcome to Circus Circus Casino. Everyone under the age of twenty one, get out. Let's see if we can get the uh, the fast kill on this one. The uh, fast kill is really, really tight. It's a little bit easier with the infinite fire souls, but... Oh, gosh, yes. This is one of my favorite songs in the game. It's probably, like, third place. It's a remix of uh, the Oogie song from the song, or the, song, the movie. You know what's weird about the movie? Jack and Oogie never sing at each other. Yeah. Real missed opportunity. Most of the songs in this game are so catchy, it's I, I find it really difficult to not sing along. <laughs> So we're going to try and throw these explosives in his mouth. We got all three in, so that was good. It looks like we might be able to get the one cycle here. I, I call it 1.1 cycle because one cycle yeah. skipped this. He's at literally one HP, so these guns will kill him. But that is like a really tight window. I've hit it once, and sadly not I believe, on camera. So. I believe I've seen somebody kill him on the pedestal instead of with the guns but it, it's it's extremely difficult yeah one sec uh for the last few chapters to uh appease my uh student teacher right here we're gonna be changing into his favorite costume this one's for you azumi awesome pajama jack is amazing it's the only one from the movie. I'm not skipping anything, right? No. Okay, good. All right. This is the fastest chapter in the game. Real blink and you miss it moment. That was a little scary. 
All right, an amazing textbook again. kill. I'm I'm guessing like 35. 34 again. Yo, amazing, <laughs> amazing fight. This is the other fastest chapter. It's pretty quick. Usually on uh, Infinite Souls, we we do get the one cycle the train. Yeah. Oogie has developed a quite um. What's it called? Oh, one of those machines. Like it's super uh, intricate for no reason. Feels like a he has San. Yeah. He has Santa Claus tied up above like a big sharp object or something, and he has a train coming, and you basically have to just keep the train from cutting Santa Claus as a rope. I think the train has about 900 health on easy. You also, you might have seen right there, you get a little bit of invincibility frames while you do the fire blast. Exactly 108, dang. 108, not bad. Yeah, 108's my fastest Here we time. go. This is the final chapter of the game against... This is the, fun fact, this is the first actual fight against Oogie. The first one was his shadow, and the second one was his shadow in a green costume. Yeah, the second fight looked like it was Oogie, but if you f actually watch the cutscene afterwards, he's like, oh, it was just my shadow again. If you want to find me, I'm in Christmas Town." Bye now. Drops a nuke. Yeah, tries to blow up Jack. Got martyred him from uh, COD. Uh, Shoutouts to Neronium. Where'd they get the car? <laughs> Which holiday threw away a car? I, I mean, I guess maybe day. somebody got a car for Christmas. Yeah, something tells me it's Independence Day. That's that sounds like a very American <laughs> thing to do. Throw away your car. No, yeah. That's a good point. So Oogie's legs both have an individual health bar, and on easy it. it has a 150 HP and each hit you do to the legs will do one damage to his overall health but if you damage his health uh, if you damage his legs enough they'll uh, get to zero health and he'll just fall over this is the fastest way to fight him but you can see in the background there are little uh, gas mains that generally will be the the intended way to fight him. Well, uh, this is also, by definition, the intended way. This is well, why yeah. I consider this the one of the best final bosses in gaming, because it. I was gonna mention that too. Yeah, you take take that away. Uh, this actually um, it shows you a like it gives you a cryptic hit on what you can do, but also shows you like Spiral Hill has a way to swing across, and then the arrow's pointing at his feet. It teach the old game is teaching you to interact with these arrows and listen to Jack in cutscenes. So, and now you finally have to do this without your hand being cut. And then yeah, finally, and... a one final let's dance. This is the best song in the game. My stomach is already churning at the thought about what's coming out. It's just excitement. I don't consider that excitement, I consider that pain. Your stomach's excited, but your brain is panicking. I've got a good place to get for this. <laughs> Whoa. We have a minute left. If someone, if some oil tycoon owner wants to drop just a fat hundred and twenty dollars right now, 
Yeah, we would really do appreciate that if that could happen. <laughs> But yeah, th this game has an amazing soundtrack. The most of so the songs that appear in this game have, at one point or another, been on my personal playlist. It's just a travesty they never released an official soundtrack. Yet. Like, yeah, get on it, Capcom. Imagine a like one of those uh custom vinyls like the with the image on it and stuff that would be amazing you got like hey, spiral hill with jack and stally on one and then mega ogi on the other side i know there's a company that does that so that's like 150 dollars a night yeah but i mean i would buy it i'm, the seven holidays I'm bad with money Your i have a one in thirty five thousand premium version of nightmare for christmas from japan on vhs yeah, I mean, I, I'm living paycheck to paycheck, but I I can splurge. All right, time, oh, wait, is, time coming is coming up, up pretty soon. That. It's at the end of this. The combo at 124 is time. Time. I forgot to say. I keep forgetting to say that because like my brain is like, oh, I'll be doing it. Wait a minute. Yeah, so the time is... used to end on the results screen, but now uh, just to streamline everything a little more, we ended on uh, the final input. Yeah. Well, uh, GG's guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, what was my final time? Um. I have a thirty-six nineteen here. Good, good. That's world record. What? Wait. My, what? My current record is thirty-eight thirty-five. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I guess really? I gotta grind again. Oh my god! What? GG, what? Professor. I, you're no longer the pumpkin king. Uh, oh wait, my what? god! You beat me by like two minutes, bro. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> um. I thought I was too late, but I managed to. Um. Oh, you might want to double check and make sure our timer isn't out, but. <laughs> you... Well, I mean, yeah, I'll retime it, but I think. Yeah. It, I'll retime it. Don't like, worry, but. Again. With, with it being two minutes, I think, like, it probably is still record, even if it's not extremely precise. Yeah, I'm you sure it's what? not two minutes out. You know what? I'll drink I... to that! Cheers! <laughs>I'm just catching up on what's going on right now on stream. <laughs> no. I just chugged black olive soda and my tongue hurts. Or a little closer to home. At least you don't, got, you don't have to do it again, but your tongue's going to be hurting a little bit more. <laughs> wow. The professor, congrats. Absolute congratulations. Can we get some hype in the chat for the professor World right now? Record. This is the first time we've had a record being beaten live at the Summer of Love 2023. Oh man, uh, do y'all mind if I like, uh, full screen myself for the, uh, eating of the wings? <laughs> like, make my camera the full thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can do that? Uh, yeah, of course you can. Uh, yeah, if you can move yourself over. Um, turn off GB USB 2. Uh, cam femboy. He's doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Doing it live. I don't have the best lighting. Uh, Jack's behind me. <laughs> All right. Oh, let me get my gloves on first. Amazing clip. Absolutely amazing. And I can't believe he blindfolded the first boss. And <laughs> incredible. Yeah, I'm laughing. First that, boss, that was world amazing. Record. 
So 35 is possible because I did lose a minute on the first battle by a... Uh... Oh my god. We going for a wing or a flat? Uh, the choice is yours right now. <laughs> Fate is in your hands. <laughs> oh, Excuse me. Sorry. Just opened it, almost threw up. <laughs> oh shoot! Where's my uh, grabber? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna have to raw dog this. Oh my god! I can feel the heat through the glove. Where did you get that? I kind of want to try one now. <laughs> uh, I had to throw some Apollo sauce on uh, the Wings of Fire from BBQ Chicken. Oh, okay, okay. Korean barbecue place. Shoutouts to the... I can feel the heat. through. I need to eat this fast. All right. For UK Bowel a Cancer Association. Oh! 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 I'm trying not to make a lot of noise. I'm sorry. It's okay. Do what you need to do. I'm sorry. I should be laughing. It's too Laugh, good though. Laugh, please. <laughs> <laughs> the suffering. Professor is a mad lad. He is. And he's is the new good? world record holder. Is that That's perfect. <laughs> I'm going to let you on that. I'm going to let you off with that. Okay, yeah, of course. That's, that's great. <laughs> yes, that's the full bone. Yeah. And you, you win it in on both ends. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Uh, can I do my fat off with my tongue on them? I think so. Okay. That's a few fat out. First, yep. uh, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get my feeling back in my tongue. Maybe. Oh, this is incredible. Uh, <laughs> the regular wing of fire is only a ghost pepper. The deadly is the Apollo pepper. Ah, uh, it, it's just burn. That you know how you sit around a campfire and then you accidentally burn your marshmallow and you put it in your mouth too early and your mouth's on fire. That's the taste. Mm. All right. Uh, Quick shout out. Is, oh, sorry. It's your shout outs, dude. <laughs> no, no, get your shouts in, dude. While you can. <laughs> um, shout outs to the Nightmare Before Christmas speedrunning community. We're tiny, we're small, but everyone in there is the most nice, accepting person in the world. We love you all. We will teach you how to speedrun this game. We'll, we'll help you on your first run. We'll do anything to get more people in this game. <coughs> Anything else? Are you, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> More. <laughs> okay. Shoutouts to my good friends Canuck and Demons, my friends from the north. They uh, uh, inspired me to keep speedrunning in 2020 when I thought I was gonna stop speed. Excuse me, 2021 when I thought I was gonna stop speedrunning. Here I am now. Uh, Shoutouts to a uh, good friend Undead Media. He is my best uh, VHS friend, and he we have done a lot of good collabs together. Uh, one of them is the VGH trilogy on VHS. Shoutouts to Matinee Studios for making How to Trade a Speedrunner on VHS. <coughs> shoutouts to my best friend in the world, Bilsterbugs. And shoutouts to my co-teacher. Congratulations, you graduated. You are my student teacher. Um, you're now my co-teacher now, Azumi. Awesome. <laughs> All I had to do was put myself through pain. Oh, my stomach. And real, real honest facts there, like, anybody that wants to try running this game, there's plenty of different categories, there's <laughs> ones that are close to, like, 20 minutes, some that are, like, just under an hour, and then, like, the full game is, like, two hours, so it's, it's, it's a really easy speed run to get into, and we're more than happy to help any amount that anybody needs. Alright, guys. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm actually sweating if you can, like, see the sweat beads on my head. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, we all believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If you'll want me back, I'll do it again, I promise. I love uh, you all. What about all. next week? <laughs> I'll be back next week. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, well, uh, man. okay, uh, carry on. Excuse me. Uh, What was that? I think someone uh, gifted me something on my stream. 
<laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching that. That was absolutely incredible. Big shouts out to the Professor and the Zumi. Um, but more importantly, Professor, he actually stuck and pulled through. And again, massive congratulations to him and his world record on uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge. And make sure you go check out this game, guys. It looks so super fun to play. And yeah. So, guys, thank you so much. We will take a little short break. And when we return, we are going to have Mixmaster PJ stepping up um, with some GIs. Joe, any percent. So make sure you stick around for that. It's going to be super fun. But once again, massive shouts out to Izumi and the Professor. And GG's on your world record, Professor. Yeah, thanks for having us. Am I out? Azumi, meet me in the DMs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, take care, man. <laughs> Thank you. For well, hopefully, <laughs> you're okay. Cinnamony. <-y. sighs>